What's going on, guys? Hello, welcome back. I spilled water on myself. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Can you see it? I just took a swig of water. It went right out of my mouth, that hole in my lip. I see it. <laughs> um, so in yesterday's vlog, we said that we would be doing a Q&A video, and a bunch of you guys asked questions in the comment section, and we are sitting down and answering them for yeah, you guys. Yeah, and we're going to do this on like a semi-regular basis, not like every single week, but maybe once a month, once every two months, we'll sit down and just do a Q&A because a whole lot of questions arise over time and you guys want them answered. Wait, did you guys notice that John has brown hair? It's actually just a video editing effect. <laughs> you have like a green screen on yeah. your hair. We painted your hair green. It's a green cap. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's no longer green, I'll miss my green hair. I actually kind of liked it, Iris misses it, but. Oh, by the way, so I was looking at his scalp and he has scabs on his scalp. Someone burned my skin. It burned. With chemicals. <sighs> me, my fault, I'd like, I you were telling me what him. to do. You are like, I want bleach everywhere, use this stuff. And like, yeah, that's, I don't know. It's sad it how weird. painful that is. I don't ever want to go through that again. Well, I don't know. Any hairstylists out there, do you guys know of um, a liquid developer? chemical radiation burns. The developer was of a liquid consistency. You know, usually it's a little bit thicker, like, uh, yeah, but it wasn't. I don't know. It was strange. Right, anyway. Let's jump right into these questions. Okay, so this comment is right at the top from Veronica Otero. Ooh. It seems like it has a lot of thumbs up. People want to know this. Are you taking all your pets with you to Minnesota? <laughs> nope, leaving them all. Goodbye, Lola. Goodbye, Thor. Yep. No, of, of course we are. Um, yeah. Our animals are our family. We mm -hmm. love them very much. And um, Yeah, well, and a big thing in our life has always been that once you commit to taking care of an animal, you should fulfill that responsibility. So we are definitely bringing all the pets back. The only question we have about one that we might not is our tortoise Humphrey. Tortoise, our tortoise Humphrey and tortoises, African leopard tortoises, are supposed to live in a habitat that is, you know, anywhere from 60 degrees to 120 degrees and they really like that. They need that sun, they need that to survive. So They're I'm, from Africa. Yeah, I'm of the thought process that, um, and Humphrey will live to be, you know, 120 years old for so the, for the next 100 and 10 or so years, I don't know if he should go through winter that many times. Like um, we could have a heater inside. John's been saying yeah. that he's scared. What if, if in the power, 100 years? You know, yeah, the power goes, I mean, 100 winters, That's you have so many different things that could go wrong over that period of time. So it's, I mean, if the power goes out and the temperature goes below, um, I think, you know, 45, 50 degrees is kind of the low temperature for them, he would die. And I would feel absolutely terrible if that happened. So... Uh, I'm gonna do more research. Exploring a couple options of maybe donating him to, to the, the zoo, zoo uh, to maybe a science museum in Minnesota or something like that, or finding where him, they have generators. Yeah, another home here um, in Southern California with friends of ours. But we're that's the only thing. In I'll that. be sad because I yeah. love him a lot. Well, yeah, we do really like him, but again, it's. I think it's for in his best interests to stay in Southern California. So that's and I kind it's not of, a solid 100% yet, but... I kind of wonder if maybe he'd be happier living at the zoo too because you see their tortoise enclosure. It's gigantic. It's huge. He'd have a lot of place to roam. Mm -hmm. And then there's a bunch of other tortoises there. And he'd be safe and taken care of and not only... And we could visit. Fed, but he'd have veterinarian care. He'd have friends. He'd have everything. And we could visit. Um, but that's... So that's, that's the pet issue. And we'll probably fly the cats back and drive the dogs back. So it's... The planning the move, um, you know, there's a lot of different moving parts there and pets that need to go into that. Yeah, so. it might be a little bit complicated. We might have to make be, a... But we'll get it figured out. Yeah, we might I'm have really to make a couple... I'm really good at planning stuff like this, so... Yeah. Well, I was just... Sorry. I was just saying we might have to make a couple trips mm -hmm. to bring the animals back. And I yeah. have to take Aphrodite to the vet to have a checkup because she is a senior cat and they have to deem if she can go on an airplane or if we have to drive her. Is that yeah. the right word? Well, and so if we if we flew back and forth twice, which is kind of what we're planning on doing, we take two cats the first trip, uh, a cat and Lola maybe the second trip, and then Kenobi and Thor would be driven because I'll absolutely not 
dry, fly Kenobi because it's the same deal. He's an elderly dog, and that whole process can be extremely stressful on pets. So I think that answers that question. Mm -hmm. So this next question comes from Life with Kels. Have you started potty, potty training Iris yet? If you have, I need some tips on how you have done it. The first time Iris ever went to the potty, she, uh, she was, you know, running around the house without her diaper on, and she just went into the bathroom, went potty, came back and said, Dada, Mama, I went potty. And we were like, where? And she's like, in the potty. And she showed us. And then the next day she peed in my slippers. So, um... <laughs> it's something we're still working on. Yeah. She seemed a little bit to have reverted. Yeah, she, she was, was really interested in it. Yeah, and then she kind of stopped. Yeah. We're like, let's try to go potty. She's like, no, I don't want to sit on the potty. Yeah, so. and that's, you know, you, a lot of people um, meet the Presleys, for instance. I just saw something that they were working on. Uh, I don't know if it was potty training or not, but they had their son on the potty reading books so he could spend a lot of time there, enjoy the time, and have a lot of fun. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's it's and a process. Stickers. Books, stickers, we do the stickers. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I think constantly asking uh, Iris for us is, you know, do you have to go potty? And sometimes she'll be like, yep, and then she'll want to go. So um, waking up, you know, ask her, you want to go potty? Going to bed, ask her, you want to go potty? And throughout the day, just continually kind of ask. But I think it's it's something that will happen eventually no matter what. So it's, you know, don't get like, don't get down on yourself if it takes a little longer for you and your child to go through the process than it does for somebody else because everyone is different. Mm-hmm. Lauren Kennedy asks, do you have any big vacations planned for this summer? And where's Donica been? So... Where's Donica been? College. That? College, <laughs> yeah. Huh? Oh, Donica. that's where she is. <laughs> School. Yep, my sister's in college. Her major is peace studies. She really wants to help people all around the world. Yeah, She's well, a... she came back from her trips overseas, um, working with refugees and mm -hmm. stuff like that, and then she came back and went right back into school. Yeah, but she always wants to travel. She said that she sees herself living in another country when she graduates, and she wants to hear people's stories and help as many people as she can. Like, yeah. She's an awesome person. Vacations? Yeah! Um, we are going to Florida next week. Key uh, West is yeah. going to be great. Um, for Easter, his parents are down yeah. there. In May, we're going back to Florida for Playlist Live, which will be pretty exciting. We had these trips planned before we found out we had yeah. to move. I might go to Las Vegas. I'm also going to St. Louis for a golf tournament, which will be really, really fun. I'm really excited about that. Uh, Nikki's planning on kind of taking a trip with her friends once we get back to Minnesota. I haven't planned anything. He keeps telling me that well, I need to. Well, I've been talking to. her into it. I'm like, just go somewhere and do something with your friends. You know, over the past um, year or so, I have taken some trips with friends to different destinations. And it's been like, it's made my like personal life and my level of happiness go up a lot more and just like going places and doing things with people who I like to hang out with. So I've been trying to convince her to do that, she just needs to get on the ball and plan it. Eh, let's just get situated. And first. moving back to Minnesota for the summer, um, that's kind of a, that's, we want to be back in Minnesota for the summer to enjoy Minnesota summer. Um, and then, yeah, we have, we're gonna, we talked that we'll travel more once we live in Minnesota, so. Since we'll have that support system, yeah. hopefully. And we really, really want to bring Iris to Bangkok. Yeah, you know, see our family out mm -hmm. there again. Yeah, we were we were talking about how once we live in Minnesota and we have that support system, I might be able to fulfill my dream of making travel vlogs, or we, I should say. I don't know if that's your dream, too. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you'll travel and I won't. <laughs> John can stay home. Yeah. No, no, I want to I wanna see the world with you. Yeah, yeah. and you know, we... Once we live in Minnesota, we'll have family around to help us take care of Iris. We'll have people who we can hang out with who have kids, so we'll... We'll have a lot of options to do a lot of different things that we can't do right now. It should be a lot of fun. We've got one. CVX Live in August. We'll be in True. Uh, Salt be Lake good City. Too. Yeah, mm -hmm. so very exciting stuff. Maybe we can meet some of you yeah. there. Samantha Scharf asks, hopefully you see this before you do the Q&A. Oh, she just like just left this comment. Wow, Ooh. good timing. Look at that. Meant to be. Um, why are you waiting so long to get married and why did you move to LA in the first place? Um, well, how about we start with why we moved to LA? 
because that is a little I mean, I've seen a, a couple people ask that one um I went to college out here I went to FIDM I graduated with a marketing major and uh, when I was growing up for some reason I just always had it in my head like I'm gonna move to California when I turn 18 I always said that yeah I did I did um, and you did it which is cool mm -hmm. you know you fulfilled that goal that you set for yourself which I think is super duper important yeah, I just, I always wanted to live out here. It was just kind of, it seemed so wonderful and, and glamorous to me when I was, uh, when I was young. And, um, yeah, I, I did it after high school. I worked and saved up some money. And then, um, I waited for my friend April to graduate from high school. She's a, a grade younger than me. And we moved out here together and we went to college together and eventually John moved out here too. Yep, I, after high school, I moved to Colorado for a couple of years, um, did some community college there, uh, was gonna transfer into a four year school, but I decided that I didn't really wanna do that. Um, I just, I don't know, it wasn't really working out for me. So I moved back to Wisconsin for the summer, um, Minnesota, Wisconsin. I stayed at my cabin, I worked at a golf course. And, and I came up. I absolutely loved that, working <laughs> at the golf course. Um, you visiting was great too. But uh, I saw an advertisement for a golf school. You could go to California, learn how to play golf, teach golf, run a country club, and that um, at that point in my life seemed like something I really wanted to do. So I did that, graduated. Uh, of course, moved out here, moved in with Nikki. We started dating officially. You could say that you know I was part of the you reason you wanted that, to move but here. I, school was super duper important to me at that point in time, but it also just happened to coincide with the fact that you were here and that was great. So, um, and then we just stayed. Yeah. yeah. And the YouTube, we never, we didn't move out here to become YouTubers. We didn't know what YouTube was. Um, that just sort of happened just to happened. us. And we happened to live in LA. So I know a lot of people think that people have to live in LA to be YouTubers, but that's absolutely not true. YouTubers live all over the world, all over the country, um, and they are very successful, so. Second part of the question. Why did we take so long to get married? You well, know, life. Yeah, it's yeah. just life. Life kept, um, you know, different things kept We kind of had up. a plan to get married, but we never really knew where we wanted to get married, whether it was in Minnesota or... What happens when you knock on our door? Just some packages showed up. Yeah, that's... That's what our life is every day when someone rings the doorbell or knocks. Um, and it's always so scary because Iris is napping yeah. too. It's like... <gasps> I mean, some, we had a sign out there um, for a few months saying like, hey, don't knock, don't ring, baby's sleeping. <laughs> but uh, we just never really got around to planning our wedding or knowing where we wanted to get married. And then we finally decided that we wanted to get married in Minnesota, which we were going to do next summer. Um, and now that we're moving back, that's kind of the, one of the first things that will get straightened out when we get back home is picking out a wedding date for the following summer. Um, it's going to be in June. It's going to be in Minneapolis. We're going to invite all our family, all of our friends. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be great. I got pregnant um, when we were planning to. Yeah, and then we decided that we wanted Iris to be a part of the wedding. Um, and we've been together forever. Technically, we have like we're a married common in our hearts. law <laughs> domestic partnership. So um, that's fine and great. It's dandy. We love each other. It works for us. But we're going to get married next summer too. Lizzie XOXO 101 asks, are you guys going to move into a bigger house when you move? We probably will move to a bigger house in Minnesota. You just get a lot more for your money out mm -hmm. there. Um, in well, Los Angeles. Multi-level houses. Yeah, in Los Angeles, you're talking a million dollars for a house that is like a thousand something square feet yeah. or more than that. And like, that's just kind of crazy to us coming from the Midwest. Yeah. And where... the value of this house is, I mean, extremely high. Mm -hmm. uh, not necessarily, the house itself is very nice. It's very wonderful, a lot of space. The area. Uh, but it's the lot, it's the area, it's the schools, it's the everything in relation to, uh, to downtown, to Hollywood, to all these different things. So a lot of people buy houses here because they absolutely love it. It's an amazing, wonderful place to live. Um, but you can get really a lot bigger house um, in a lot of different places for a lot less. So I just also wanted to say we don't actually have our house picked out yet in no. Minnesota. Like I keep saying, like things are going to be kind of complicated when we move, or our moving mm, is yes going to be complicated. No. Yeah. 
Well, we're gonna live with family for about a month while we look for our place. Yeah. So we're just focusing on getting to Minnesota. We're gonna put our stuff in storage and we're gonna stay with family and hunt for our forever yeah. home. And that, I mean, that kind of all has to do with the abrupt departure yeah. date, you know, the move out date that we have. We just, we have to make sure that we can just get everything out of here um, and not really focus or worry about where we're gonna live because we um, can stay with Nikki's mom, we can stay with my mom, and my sister has uh, like a guest apartment type deal. We can stay with my dad at my cabin. So we have a lot of different places that we could stay over a month's period of time without really getting on anybody's nerves. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Rachel Canty asks, I love you guys so much and I thank was you. wondering, yeah, thank you, um, if you guys have any special thing you want in your house. P.S. I'm moving too so I know what you're feeling. LOL. I know uh, what you want. Yeah, I guess like on a personal level, personal details, I want a jacuzzi tub. That's that what sounds, you were going to say? Yeah, that no. was what I we're was really bad say. at this. What are you going to say, game? <laughs> I want a jacuzzi tub. I am a, a large person. Yeah, I'm six, two and a half, almost six, three of 200 pounds. I don't fit in a normal, tiny, small bathtub. And that's, we had our house in Corona, we had a really nice bathtub, which was fantastic. Mm. Uh, but that's like, that's a pre-required you know, for me, prerequisite. You gotta have it. Apparently, uh, a bathtub is personal. <laughs> yeah, I spend a lot of, well, I don't spend a lot of time in the bathtub now, but I will. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say you want a big bathtub. I said, oh, why, why'd you say that's not what I, I you, you said that's not. I said that was what I was gonna say. I thought you said it was not. No, that's what I was oh gonna say. Oh my gosh. I just thought it was funny that you said it was personal. <laughs> Arianator C asks, asks, will Iris get a sibling? If so, when? I think this is something people ask us a lot. Yeah, I don't know. We have so much other things going on in our life right now that that is not something that we're really thinking about. I mean, we are thinking about yeah. it. We were, we were thinking. It would be after we got married if it happened probably. Right. So that's what we were thinking our plan would be, get married first and then have another baby yeah. if we if we want to do that. Because there, you know, there's moments where I'm like, well, the three of us, like, it's so nice. But mm -hmm. then it's like, you know, it would be great if she had a built-in best friend for life. And yeah. And she does like babies, how she walks around with babies. It is cute. And... But, uh, yeah, I don't... We thought of adopting, too. Yeah. yeah, we're open to adoption, more than open to that. That's mm -hmm. There's people in the world that are in need, and um, if that's something that we can help somebody with, mm -hmm. you know, or make someone's life better, it'd be great. And I think part of the reason that we that I haven't been in a huge rush is if you've been watching for a while, I had a really, really hard delivery and I had an emergency C-section after pushing for four hours. Uh, I kept spiking a fever in the hospital. They were putting ice on me and... Uh, I had a hard pregnancy too. Did you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one. Oh yeah, I was, I'm kind of crazy. Um, but... Yeah, so I was like, I could wait a little while before I do that again. Yeah. But who's to, you know, maybe that won't even happen next time. They say every pregnancy is different. Yeah, so I don't know. Babies yeah, are always worth it. So this question is for me from Teresa Watson. It says, Nikki, how old were you when your parents separated and do you have the same father as your brother and sister? So my parents separated when I was two and a half or three. So... You know, it's kind of all I've known was them being divorced. And no, my little brother and my little sister have a different dad. I was my dad's only child. Kate Pearson asks, what was yours and John's first job? I just got my first job at McDonald's. Um, my first job was at a small town movie theater. I had three screens, um, one big one, that was your two smaller ones. And... It, I loved it. It was a great job. It taught me the value of working um, to gain income to buy things. I bought my own snowmobile when I was 15. I rode it to work and back every day, and all my friends were just like, can I ride your snowmobile? And I was like, nope. You can get a job and buy one, though. It's really cool. <laughs> but yeah, I loved it. Yeah. 
I worked at a vet clinic. I had to wake up at 5 a.m. before school, go down to the vet clinic, feed and water all the dogs in the kennel, clean out all the poop and pee from the kennels, let some of the dogs out to the dog run, and then put them back in and then go to school. And then um, I'd come back at night after school and do that again. And Which is kind of crazy because I, you know, I had a couple dogs and cats growing up and occasionally they would be boarded at the vet that Nikki worked at so she like probably took care of my dog and my cat at some point over that period of time which we have a bunch of crazy stories yeah, like that small Bef town small world yeah well before we met it turns out we were both in a play together when we were young yeah. except I acted in it and John was the lights guy did you do the lights yep yeah he worked behind the stage and like we never met during well, I that was, I was a uh, spotlight guy I was up top the nifty 50s yeah Paula Woodall asks will you be vlogging your move to Minnesota of course mm -hmm. of course yes we will we vlog it all mm -hmm. everything we're actually gonna go back to vlogging five days a week uh, for a couple of different reasons um, it, I think that you guys will enjoy it more and we'll have a lot more stuff to film when we're in Minnesota. We'll constantly be doing stuff, hanging out with friends, family. My fishing channel, my cooking channel is coming back online mm -hmm. full time. Um, and just having the help is yeah. gonna it help help us so much. Um, you know, we we do put a lot of hours into YouTube as it is. We put 40 plus hours a week. Plus, we balance raising a kid without having a support system. Yeah. And one of us is pretty much always on the computer. Editing something. Always, uh, watching Iris. So. We have a, you know, we have a bunch of different channels too. Yeah. So I think it'll make it a lot easier when we're in Minnesota to, you know, to just post more. Yeah. Justin four two seven five nine asks, where in Minnesota are you moving to? By the way, I love your vlogs. So uh, well, we already said that we're gonna be staying with family for a month while we look but we were thinking in the Minneapolis area. Mm -hmm. One area we were looking at online was Plymouth. We like that. We're gonna try to find something close to our family in the cities, but we could get to Northfield when yeah. we want to. And honestly, I mean, we have no idea. We just know that it will probably be central to Minneapolis somewhere. Um, Nikki wants to be close to her dad. Mm -hmm. Her dad wants to be kind of close to us so he can come and go whenever he wants. And we don't want to make that hard on him because we love hanging out with him. Like Nikki said, we want to be close to all of our family in Northfield. My my whole family, besides my brother who lives in the Caribbean, lives in Minneapolis. Um, and we want to be able to get out of town and go to the cabin. So those, we just, I don't know, we'll look. You For know, an area we'll, around there. Yeah. I want to be able to go out downtown if I want to and get dinner sometime. Yeah. Um, but, and uh, you know, I think in the cities there's a little more action, so we'll like being up there. But again close to my dad my dad uh even he says even saint paul is too far he's like yeah, i'd I prefer not you... far at all no but... it's like i'd prefer if you live in minneapolis not yeah. saint paul it's twin cities they're mm -hmm. they're neighboring each On other the sides of the river mm -hmm. um but yeah that's we're gonna look a good question yeah, yeah we're gonna look all around that area yeah. and uh i hopefully we just find the perfect place and yeah, hopefully sooner we will. It'll be nice to be home. Yeah. So I think this is a good thing, guys. I think yeah. we're really gonna like it. Are you? Were you gonna wrap things up? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tie a bow. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna post again on Monday, so stay tuned for that. John is actually. You want to say what you're doing? I'm off to the Long Beach Grand Prix for the weekend with my friend Chris. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be doing some vlogging of uh, some indie cars, some high-speed drifting, all sorts of really, really cool stuff. There's like trophy trucks that I forgot what they call them, but they're like super trophy trucks that race on the street course. So it should be a lot of fun, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Looking forward to it. something I always wanted to do, and it's nice that I'll be able to get to do it before I leave California. And then next week, we'll be posting some Florida vlogs, too. So All week. Yeah, Which we're going to have some, some fun traveling vlogs coming up soon, mm -hmm. too. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you and appreciate your support so much. We do. Please. And please hit that little like button. You know, it means a lot to us. I know a lot of people ask why YouTubers are always asking people to give them likes. Um, but it takes the video and it moves it up in the algorithm. And it allows other people just to see our stuff who might be interested in it. Yeah, thank you so much. Leave a comment, subscribe, and always remember that we love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. No.
I was going okay. to... It's a prank in itself, not doing it.